Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today in this lecture we are going to talk about the settling basin. First we will talk about the theory portion of the settling basin and then after we will solve one numerical problem related to settling basin. So let's start settling basin with the theory and its introduction. What is settling basin? A settling basin is a water treatment structure that removes suspended solids and sediments and allow water to slow down enabling gravity to settle heavy particles to the bottom which helps in improving the water quality by preventing the discharge of solid pollutants into natural water bodies. The basic principle of settling basin is to slow down water flow allowing gravity to settle suspended solid particle to the bottom. This separation process helps improve water quality by removing sediments and pollutants from the water. Now let's move on to the design criteria of the settling basin. The design of a settling basin involves considering various criteria to ensure its effectiveness in removing suspended solids and sediment from water. Here we are talking about the sum of the design criteria. These design criteria are flow rate, detention time, inlet and outlet design, sediment storage capacity, particle size and density, gradient and slope of the settling basin, baffle wall design, maintenance access to the settling basin and another is environmental and weather conditions. Now let's talk about the flow rate. The settling basin should be designed to handle the expected flow rate of water. This involves calculating the maximum flow the basin will experience and ensuring the basin has the capacity to accumulate the flow on it. And the next is detention time. The detention time on determining the appropriate detention time is crucial. It refers to the duration water remains in the basin allowing sufficient time of particles to settle in the sedimenting. Design should provide an optimal balance between basin size and detention time of the settling basin. Next is inlet and outlet design. The proper design of inlet and outlet structure is, is essential to control the flow pattern and distribute water within the basin which helps in maximizing particle settling efficiency. Sediment storage capacity. The basin should have adequate storage capacity for the accumulated sediments without compromising its effectiveness. For the regular removal of sediment is necessary to maintain the basin's efficiency. In the particle size and density, the consideration of the characteristics of the suspended solids including particle size and density is vital. The design should be tailored to efficiently capture the specific particles present in the water inside the settling basin. The gradient and slope of the basin. The basin's gradient and slope affects the settling process of the basin. The basin should optimize these parameters to encourage sedimentation without causing short circuiting. The baffle design. Having the baffle within the basin helps in controlling the flow path of water and enhancing settling time and settling of the water. Baffles can prevent short circuiting and ensure uniform distribution of flow across the basin. The maintenance access to the uh, settling basin. The maintenance access to the settling basin is major requirement for the maintain periodic maintenance of the machine. The design should facilitate easy access for maintenance activities including sedimentary removal, environmental and weather condition. The environmental condition is this design should account for potential environmental impacts ensuring that the treated water discharge from the settling basin meets regulatory standards developed by government or any other parties. And next is weather condition. Consideration for the local weather condition such as rainfall patterns is essential in designing the basin to handle peak flow and prevent overflow during extreme weather events. 
After all this, we go to the components of settling. In the hydropower project, the settling basin are the overall components of water management system. This basin play a critical role in reducing sediment transport and protecting downstream infrastructures. The key components of the uh, settling basins are inlet structure, sedimentation basin, outlet structures, spillways, flossings and other structures inside the settling basin are baffles, sluices or the gates or valves. Here we have present a, a graphical layout of the settling basin. This is the inlet point from here. This whole one is the settling basin and this one is the inlet point from here to here. Up to here it's a inlet point and from this point to this it's a sedimentation and this is the outlet point from where water gets out of the structure and oh from one of the part the water flow overflow water gets out of the settling basin as a spillway and this is the flossing where uh, collected sedimentation goes out of the settling basin and this one after the outlet point of the settling basin a headrest waterways gets started that is either the pen stock sorry either the pipeline or the tunnel structures now let's know more about the inlet structure the inlet structure is designed to regulate the control and the entry of water into the settling basin it helps manage the flow velocity and distribution of water entering the basin and similar to the sedimentation basin is the main basin where the sedimentation process occurs. It provides a large open area where water velocities reduce, allowing suspended particles to settle down to gravity. The basin may have internal features such as baffles or in and sedimentation velocity. The baffles is this wall is from where the sedimentation and the head point. This one is also called as the head point point and the wall from where the what sedimented water gets to the next structure the purified water gets to next structure is said to be baffled and the next one is the outlet structure the outlet structure regulates the discharge of clarified water from the settling basin it may include devices to control the flow rates and ensure the smooth transition from the basin to downstream channels or downstream waterways and the spillway the spillway is that structure from where the extra amount of water is uh, removed out from the settling basin and the flossing is that component of the uh, settling basin where we floss out all the sediments that are collected or settled down in the sedimentation tank this is the flossing chamber and from where the flossing all the sediment goes back to the natural channel that is back to the river and the baffle is a simply a wall or the structure that separates the sedimentation tank and the head pond or the outlet structure other are sluice gates and valves these are the typical or mechanical or any other additional structures that are kept over here or any other parts where the requirements after all this we'll talk about the design method of settling basin the design of settling basin involves considering various factors to optimize their efficiency in remo removing suspended solid from water. Whereas the design of settling basin can be approached using particle settling theory and two common methods that are particle approach and concentration approach. Where in the particle approach, the settling velocity, determination time, basin size, inlet and outlet design are the major consideration settling time settling velocity detention time and basin size the next is inlet and outlet design Uh, the major concentration in the particle approach whereas in the concentration approach influent and effluent concentration
concentration mass balance detention time and sizing size of the basin are the measure concentration for the concentration approach here we have attached the uh, design steps or the procedure of the particle approach as well as for the concentration approach you can have a look on both of them will solve a numerical problem related to settling basin. The given question is compute the dimension of periodic settling theory with the given data. Design discharge equals 6 meter cube per second. Particle diameter to be removed 0.25 mm. Depth of basin equals 3 meter. Take settling velocity of particles called 2.5 centimeter per second. In our problem if turbulence is considered what will be the dimension of the basin so let's start solving this question first we'll carry out the given data from the question here the given data is discharge is given as q equals 6 meter cube per second similarly the d particle diameter to be removed is given as 0.25 mm and the depth of the settling basin is given as 3 meter and the settling velocity of the particle is given as 2.5 centimeter per second this is converted into meter per second as 0 0.025 now we will start solving this using the critical velocity using camp relation as given as v equals a root over d meter per second the uh, unit for the velocity so for the d varying from 1 mm is greater than d is greater than 0 0.1 mm the value for the a is 0 0.44 now placing the value of a on this equation of camp relation v equals 0 0.44 root over 0 0.25 on solving this the value will be 0 0.22 meter per second after this we will calculate the length of the basin without turbulence without turbulence the length of basin L equals D times of V is divided by W and placing the value of d is given as 3 the v is calculated as 0.22 and w is given as 0.025 equals 26.4 meter without considering the turbulence flow inside the settling basin the length of the basin is 26.4 meter and from this the length the width of the basin Basin can be calculated using B equals Q is divided by D times of V equals the Q is given as 6 and depth is given as 3. The V is 0.22 already calculated equals 9.09 .09 meter. Hence, here the size of the settling basin is. Basin is. 26.4 times of 9.09 .09 times of 3 meter this dimension of the settling basin is without considering the turbulence flow inside the settling basin if the turbulence effect is considered now if the consider then the fall velocity or we can say the settling velocity is given as 
W dash equals A times of V where in case of turbulence effect A can be calculated at 0 0.132 times of root over D equals 0 0.132 divide root over 3 equals 0 0.076 where w dash equals 0 0.076 times of 0 0.22 equals 0 0.017 meter per second now again we'll calculate the the length of settling basin L equals D times of V is divided by W minus W dash. The value of D is given as 3. The value of V is 0 0.22 and the W is previously calculated 0 0.02 given and this one is calculated equals 82.5 meter is the length of settling basin in considering turbulence effect. Now again we will calculate the width of the basin the basin using formula q equal, uh, sorry b equals q is divided by d times v which is unchangeable as we have already calculated in the uh, previously so this is 9.09 .09, which is unchangeable 9 meter in this case when width is is unchangeable at that time we'll check the length of settling basin by using Pelicanov's relation that is L equals lambda square V square times of root over D minus 0 0.2 whole square is divided by 7.51 w square where we'll consider the value of lambda equals uh, 1.5 placing the value on this equation equals l equals lambda means 1.5 whole square times of v square is already calculated v is 0 0.22 whole square times of d is 3 already given in equation and 0 0.2 whole square is divided by 7.51 times of 0 0.025 whole square this is given in question on solving this the value of L that is length of settling basin will be 54.46 meter which is less than 82.5 meter that is length of settling basin considering the turbulence effect this one is the length of settling basin on considering the settling basin and it's a recheck on that length in this case the length is okay so the size of settling basin so the size of settling basin considering turbulent is 82.5 meter times of 9.09 .09 meter in 3 meter this is for the solution for second part in our given question so for this time we end up the video up to this much we will come again with one new video till then keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe us thank you